Hello all and welcome to the first video from a series on dark table. My name is Hal and I'm an amateur photographer based in the Netherlands. I've been using dark table for a while now, a few years, and I thought it was finally time to read the fine manual. While doing that, I'll be recording a series of uh, instructional videos on dark table. This whole series is based on the user manual that's uh, that can be found on dark tables website i'll put the link in the description below so this is the uh, dark table uh, user interface it starts in light table which is the uh, screen that you use to manage your uh, photos this can be accessed by pressing the l button if you select a an image and press the D button it takes you to darkroom which is select which is used to develop a single photo M takes you to the world map where you can find the images that have geographical data in them uh, th that that data can either be uh, supplied by the camera or you can add it to the photos manually afterwards S is the slideshow P is the print menu and there is one uh, uh, extra uh, screen, which is tethering, which is used to control connected uh, cameras uh, to make photos and copy them directly to your computer. In addition to the keyboard shortcuts, you can use the menu on the top right corner to access those screens. The dark table workspace is divided into five areas. The main area in the middle, the left pane, which is used for information, the right pane, which is for modification, and the top and bottom panes, which are for um, shortcuts and preferences. The first step is to import some images. You can do that in light table by either importing a single image or a folder from your file system or directly from a supported device connected to your computer. Let's go ahead and import a folder by pressing the folder button. You navigate to the folder that you want to import and press open. There you go. You got the images in the main screen and on the left you can see the name of the film roll in your image collection. Now to start working on an image, you can select it and double click on it to open it in Darkroom. And in Darkroom you've got the information of that image on the left and the list of the modules that you can use to apply modifications to this image on your right. One important section is the your history stack which is a list of all of the modules that you apply to that image. Note that um, Darktable uses non-destructive editing. That means that none of the work that you do on an image modifies the original RAW file. All of those modifications are saved separately in an XMP file. And uh, you don't have to actually save anything manually. If you go out and go back in, everything that you did will be automatically saved. So for instance, let's go ahead and crop the image. As you can see, the crop and rotate module shows on the left twice because every uh, modification gets its own entry. If I go ahead and change my crop, you'll see that there is a third step. Once you are happy with all the modifications that you did to an image, you can press the Compress History Stack and it will get rid of all the redundant steps. That's it for this time. Next time we'll start taking a deeper look at Light Table. See you then.